here and today on this warm bright sunny December day I'm gonna be talking about some power metal Japanese power metal and my favorite you know my now favorite Japanese power metal band Amusi I'm gonna be talking about their album heavy metal doctors Now this opens up with uh, Guiding Light. I really like this majestic grand intro. Uh, it kind of uh, gives you, maybe, I wouldn't want to say like a false sense of you know, what's going to come because the atmosphere does evolve into that, but it really does, the, the dynamic does change after this intro as it explodes with the awesome drum work, dynamic guitar work and keyboards and such hopeful lyrics that unite with the pulse pounding energy. And what I kind of like about Guiding Light is, you know, from that intro, you really get everything that uh, Amusi is trying to accomplish here, you know, on this album. And Guiding Light is going to showcase all of their elements, you know, the symphonic energy, the atmosphere, the emotion, the speed, the energy, you know, from uh, the guitars and, dr and drums and stuff like that. You really get a lot of that from Guiding Light. And that's something that I always preach is like right off the bat, the first song, you kind of want to deliver on all kind of uh, spectrums and deliver a lot of elements to really hook that listener. I think, you know, Amusi did that with Guiding Light. And that buoyant energy continues over into Heaven Finds You. Well, I love what they did riff-wise in the lead work underneath the spirited rhythms and vocals. I really felt like those two things complemented each other, you know, really, really uh, well. And the, the solo work I found was like, hella spirited. I like the energy out of the solo and uh, lots of uh, good technical work out of that. And I also, one thing I said, and I also preach this a little, uh, almost every video, is you kind of want a hook for every song, a moment that kind of captures the listener and you know, makes their uh, you know, hair stand up on the back of their neck or you know, gets them emotionally invested in the song in some sort of way. And I felt like in Heaven Finds You, you got these octave elevations coming out of the interlude and that creates that huge moment and momentum towards the end of the song. And that's what I always sort of preach, that you need something sometimes, especially in today's age where people are, you know, uh, they got like five seconds to get uh, attracted to something and move on. But I really felt like that's the moment in Heaven Finds You that grabs the listener. Then we're going on ICT. This was a bit of a surprise for me of this because what I expected from uh, this album was but because this uh, song has uh, this assaulting tempo heavier faster riffs with occasional harsh vocals and I felt that all kind of synced up with uh, the lyrical theme which is one of a kind in my opinion and it you know I've never heard anything like these well i guess you could say you've heard maybe i've heard some themes that are related to hospitals and, and medical related i know you know typo negative sort of had that but uh, anyways not you know i don't think we've ever had a i've ever heard a theme about you know hospitals and doctors and all the technical terms from actual doctors in metal or music like this and that's what you get from ICT and that's what you also get from the title track Heavy Metal Doctors. This is another one-of-a-kind topic. I have to say it was quite impressive that they make all the medical terms and words fit into a song. Uh, it must not have been easy to try to have you know these words that are medical terms and things like that really fit because I can't imagine you know, reading the lyrics I can't imagine they're very rhythmic and rhyme up one like trying to find something that rhymes or fits in there that well so I think they did a really good job of that and because I felt like the lyrics weren't forced sometimes lyrics are forced you're trying to get a message across and you want those words in there but then it kind of feels funny in the, the you know the, the rhythm or the melody of the track but I think uh, heavy, uh, Amusi did a really good job on Heavy Metal Doctors of not forcing anything. And it's quite an enlightening song as well, in my opinion. Now moving on to my must-listen to, Way of My Life. This one's unique because, you know, right off the bat, you got this freedom of tranquility for the intro. But then the musical attitude changes and you get this sort of rebellious a bit of a tone there for a bit whereas the chorus feels like this weight you know of chains lifted off the listener's shoulders i really like the vibrancy that comes into the chorus i also really like dasuke anukai's uh 
you know the range that he uses during the chorus is just uncanny i really like what he does vocally i like the the accent too i find you know uh, the japanese accent adds charm and gives a music kind of like you know an, an entire element on their own and i really kind of like you know sometimes you have that charm i've mentioned that about you know the german singing vocals that it kind of helps the song it kind of you know it helps the music and, and blends in nicely and kind of almost feels like you know rammstein it has to be sung in german and i feel like kind of that accent applies to what a music does you know musically here uh the chords in this track the tempo the vocals for the ending really make me feel like i'm kind of standing on a mountain you know that like you're reaching up to the heaven sort of type of thing and the lead and keyboards really accentuate that glorious sunshine you know kind of like today you know it was really cool i really like way of my life this song really stood out and that's why it's my must listen to just a kick-ass song i really like all the elements the guitars the drum works the vocals the atmosphere really great song in my opinion is way of my life uh, now we're moving on to uh, thanks for the usual day thanks for usual days this one I felt like there was just these cool subtleties you know that really helped the song pop the song is already full of great chord progressions great drum energy potent vocal work but the subtle drum changes I felt like really kind of uh, did a, elevated here and there little core changes from the verse to the next verse as well kind of you know captivated me grabbed my attention a little bit there and everything all those little subtleties I felt like all elevated one another and I've also mentioned that in the past you know how the little things from you know verse to verse or chorus to chorus that these little subtleties that you change kind of help the other instruments and help create a little hook that you don't even notice and I think that's also kind of a little musician trick creating these little hooks that people don't notice and make you want to go back and listen to it because you're not sure why but I think they really captured a music really captured that and thanks for usual days now we're moving on to uh finding the unicorn this one I could tell that the song you know attitude changed a bit in my opinion uh the theme was more serious and a message was to be delivered and it, it really was and the music really held up its end as well in my opinion uh right from the beginning you got like a tougher uh, maybe a bit of tougher uh, musical attitude especially from the bass I really liked what the bass delivered uh, tougher guitars attacking drum work things like that on finding the unicorn which kind of kind of goes against what maybe what you would expect from a song with unicorn in the title but either way it's a really solid track I really like what Amusey did on this album Heavy Metal Doctors I think they can you know created something innovative in my opinion although I haven't heard too much Japanese you know music or Japanese power metal but I definitely think there's you know elements here that are brand new at least to me and brand new to like power metal I, I really liked a lot of what they did a lot of really cool great songs on this album in my opinion I can't wait to try to get a copy of this for myself uh, and it's definitely on my top 10 this year which I'll be doing a video soon you know my top 10 metal albums of 2023 uh, this album is definitely going to be up there we'll see how she lands is really tough year but i hope you guys you know check out amusey heavy metal doctors all the links of course will be in the description below along with uh, my other channels and things like that until next time folks how about some heavy listening